Hey guys, this is Skitza and welcome back to another Wargroove multiplayer video. Quick announcement before we get started. A couple guys from the Discord server decided it would be a good idea to put on a friendly Wargroove tournament that is open to my viewers. I think this is a fantastic idea and I'm extremely excited. The tournament will be held on March 16th and 17th and there will be about $10 worth of prizes. So if you're interested, you can find more information on the Discord server. Link is in the description below. Anyway, if you enjoy my Wargroove multiplayer videos and you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below. I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Alright, I am playing Emmerich and our opponent is playing Sigrid. So first things first, we're going to capture that village and we're going to make some swords. Capture here, probably capture this one next, and just start with the merfolk. Um, I'm gonna use my hero or commander to capture these and just try and send a bunch of units to make sure we don't lose this. And that's it. Naughty burritos. Going with the dogs. Do we have 400? I think I still just want to get another swordsman. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll have 700 next round. So depending upon what he does, uh, most certainly going to get a merfolk. It's 250. We'll have another 500. All right, Mr. Burritos, what are you doing? Well, we'll definitely move him down one. I think I'll capture here, move this guy up. Um, Merfolk, Pikeman. I mean, if he doesn't, I don't. I don't think there's any way he can actually contest contest this. So I can get two. I'll have three there next turn. Commander is a little far out here by himself, but I think I'll be fine. I mean, I'd even concede uh, one or one or two of these. Oh, he goes goes straight in for it. Okay. All right, Merfolk. All right, so let's do this and this and this. know if I want to attack there at all. Mm, 900 gold. I think I'll just move back here. So what am I going to get? I'm going to be up to 65. Or wait, is it 10 or 5 you get? I don't remember. You know what? I'll just reinforce. That's fine. I don't, I don't care. Move him here. Another pikeman here, merfolk. I have 1200 gold next round if he doesn't kill one of these. Alright, didn't decap it, that, that's nice. Like, if, if he wants to. I mean, come over here and capture that. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Alright, well, I'm just gonna sit on these two. Got an archer. 
I'm okay. All right, keeping on with the merfolk. Decap it. I think I decap. I guess I can move here. Alright, so what am I gonna buy? 900 gold. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a harpy and something. 300. Should I just get a wagon? I think I get a wagon and just keep getting pikemen from here. And then I can spend the rest of my gold on the. Uh, on the other, uh, the harbor and the tower. So I'm kind of ahead on gold. <laughs> 300 a turn. I mean, he's gonna decap that one. Alright, ooh. I didn't realize he did that much damage. Okay. Um, I'll probably move here and cap. Decap there. Alright, so, um, 32. I can just kill him. Do I really want to take. Well, I'll only really take one big hit to the face. Yeah, let's just do that. Got my groove up. Put him in the wagon. Um, do I just block the entire way? I think I just block the whole way. Or can you reach? Um, I guess I'll move. Capture that one. Slide him right here. Or so I got got him pinned down pretty good. All right, Harpy will just move here, right? Yeah, Harpy will move here. Merfolk. Slide this guy in. Capture here. Um, 650. Alright. Do another pikeman. I think that's all I can afford, right? Yeah. I think that was a pretty good round. Not, not really worried about him. Of course, I'm not sure how much damage he does exactly. We'll see. Well, that was rude. <laughs> he lives. The wagon lives. Oh no. Alright, well, he dead. Still just denying gold. He hasn't had that for a few rounds now. Oh man. That's 40, 40 damage. Can you guys even reach? Nope. Well, he doesn't move very fast, so I guess I just... Oh, there's a, there's a stupid turtle. Hmm. Maybe I sacrifice one to decap it pull these guys back and I mean one turtle versus three 
Merfolk is not good. Alright, well this goes all the way back here. Um, reinforce. 21 damage. Can anyone hit? Nope. Do I want to put myself in crit range? I mean, he's going to use his heal. Well, let's just move right here. Decap that one. Move this guy back. Just wait there. All right. Cherry stones defend us. Ah! All right. Well, that's probably going to die. Archer kind of free over there. It didn't kill my crystal. Alright, moved its turtle up. I guess I'm gonna have to get my own stupid turtle. Jeez. Or I can get my own harpoon ship. I don't know. Just kind of block with my merfolk. Two of them can hit here. I don't know how much damage that'll do. I don't want to waste a bunch of gold over here fighting that. Huh. Well, now he's got a mage. Nine damage. Do I just fall back and heal? Definitely don't want to get my guy trapped in a bunch of people here just to kill one archer. do do this. Let's kill him. Damage that guy. Load. 21 seconds. Reinforce here. Alright, mage is out of range. What do I need to get? Let's get a let's get a knight and a merfolk. Surprised my crystal's still up, honestly. I mean he invested so heavily in the in the water, he's basically got nothing out here. Killed his only anti-air guy. So as long as I can keep this mage kind of at bay, I mean, I can basically do whatever I want with these two harpies. Got her trapped, sort of. All right, bye-bye that. That's okay. Okay. What? Oop. 
Okay, that went away. What's the best way to do this? Just kill both of these guys, right? Attack him, move the harpies over. It's probably the best. Attack. 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 Uh, it's not gonna kill him. Well, that's annoying. Alright, well, slide over here. Slide over here. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot I have this knight coming down. So knight here. Hmm. Well, either way, it's kind of awkward. Maybe we get another wagon. Alright, I think all that's good. Um, do I want to try and trade in to these stupid things? I mean, I can just move in this way. attack there. I mean I don't I don't really I don't really care. I don't really care about this, I don't think. It's just like that. Um I will we'll go ahead and load him. Alright, feel feeling pretty good about this. I already have my groove up again. It's one more square I can block. I mean, I can try and run, but all my all my guys here they're gonna, gonna come down on you. I got a knight over here that I can kind of finish the job with. Only got 750. All right, so he's finally closing the gap here. I mean, this part right here is the most important uh, thing to capture in the map, I think. Because if you can, if you can control this little choke point, I mean, that's two uh, two villages right there. I mean, he's not even moved these two guys in like four turns now, just be just because I have this so locked down. All right, you got another mage. Hmm, that's it's not a bad move at all. Alright, so I can move here and get a crit. Hmm. Not sure the best way to do this. I think I just keep with the gold gold advantage, right? So I can do this. Well, I guess I can just go ahead and do this. Jeez. 62. to the side there. Um, and then we'll just decap it here. They'll have to run that way. Um, I'm just gonna get a golem. Let's try and close it out. I mean, that merfolk's in range of like this guy and you know some guys over here, but I got two to back him up. I got a knight right here. So 
He's only at 40% groove. So he can't move at all. Like he's cornered. So he can come. Like he can hit here. Yep. And move. I mean, best case scenario right there. But I got my knight here. I got two spears. Got Emmerich. Oh, okay. He moved down. Trebuchet. Huh. Still never captured mine up there. That's fine. So he'll kill him. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Alright, well, they're all dead. It's fine. Turtle, turtle, harpoon. Alright, that's, I mean, that's fine. You can just kind of win over there at this point. 73. to be in that trebuchet range. It's kind of annoying. Maybe I move here and attack and then can slide my harpies down. So I don't want him, if I attack him, he can just move. I don't know if he can move that far. One, two. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually, I'm actually not sure. All right, so turtle can actually move up here, but then I'll be able to hit him with a bunch of bunch of guys. All right, so we're just going down with the golem. Um, gonna get another pikeman. Move him back. Twenty-seven seconds. What do we do? Yeah, I guess this is the best. And then we can just slide. And slide down to 50. Um, oh man, he's damn it, he's still in tribute shape or uh, list of range. Hmm, I don't know if he kills him though. That hit made me sad. Okay. So I'm gonna be able to double hit him with harpies here. Still, still working on that uh, that village. Got his own harpy. Uh, unfortunately, my guys cannot hit his harpy at all. And I don't have any anti-air. I just realized. See what you guys can do. So that's 15, that's 13, 19. Man. All right, we'll drop this pikeman here. We'll attack in. That doesn't kill him, does it? Hmm. Well, I think I'm just gonna move here and capture. Fortunately, it leaves these guys pretty exposed. Um, I think I'm just gonna decap this thing. Let's get a witch. 
Uh, let's get an alchemist. And a merfolk here. Let's line up. Oh. Oh. I really should have moved that knight or attacked her or something because he's just going to get shot in the face with a ballista again. Really stupid. Alright, well, I'm losing, I'm losing some gold here, but I'm up so far. Hmm. Well, uh, that was an interesting move. 900 to 400 still. Do I have enough right here to kill him? 44. Let's see, 6, 20. Uh, I think that's a big yes. Right? 6 damage. 20 damage. 19 damage. If I roll low, then no, I don't, and I could die. It'd be pretty silly to die right now at this point. So I think, I think I just move him up, right? So six, that's twenty-six, thirty-six, forty-five. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to eat my golem. He's going to eat my golem right in the face. All right, well, maybe now I do go for it. 23. Nope. No, no possible chance of doing it. What I can do... I can block here. Block there. Right. Well, that was that was stupid. That was a stupid round, but whatever. I have like zero time because I wasted a, so much time doing all that. All right, we're gonna. Jeez. No. Right, you're gonna go right here. Gonna get another witch. Uh, I spent way too much time on that one round. Didn't move my alchemist. Rushed my buy. I didn't really need another witch, but I really hope he can't do enough damage to kill me right now. It took me way too long to figure out how to how to block my golem off. Didn't even move these guys. God. Why'd you just shoot? Dang, he's down to 400. You should be able to capture that one. Look how many stupid merfolk I have. This is ridiculous. The range on that thing is pretty annoying. Oh, wait. He killed my witch. Where the heck did I put my witch? I thought I put it right here. Oh, wait. Favorable wind? Is that why? See, that's why you should, uh, should not rush your rounds. Move stuff smartly. Mm-hmm. I think that might have put him in hex range. Alright, so that that should be it right there. So down to eighteen. Twenty three. All right, well, we got the victory. It got a little rough at the end, but it wouldn't be a Schizo multiplayer video without a few mistakes. So GG to my opponent. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.